Do the Seattle Mariners have the best bullpen in baseball? Find out more in today's video. So with the addition of Gregory Santos, the Mariners arguably have some of the best bullpen pitchers in baseball, especially in terms of velocity, because all three of these guys throw absolute cheddar. And there is a sneaky player that the Mariners picked up this offseason that I believe could be mixed in with this trio and arguably be in the same realm and conversation as these three. But first, I kind of just want to focus on how this trio could truly be the best in all of baseball. And shout out to the JH page for this statistic. But Gregory Santos was the highest projected zips reliever for 2024 at a 1.5 F war, while Brash and Munoz totals of 1 and 0.9 makes them the highest projection of any bullpen trio in the league, which is absolutely ridiculous of a statistic. And even the next closest one is the Atlanta Braves with a 2.9 F4 combined, while this trio alone has an F4 combined of 3.4 in terms of projections. And another crazy fact about this trio is thanks to Steve on Twitter, he posted that this trio last year in terms of 186 innings only gave up seven home runs, which is crazy. That is just wild to have any bullpen combo only give up that many home runs, let alone for only one player to give up that many home runs. So now the real question is, how does this trio go out? Like, how do they roll them out in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning? And I think this can kind of go a variety of different ways based on how obviously what the goal is. But in my personal opinion, I would roll out Brash in the seventh, Munoz in the eighth, and Santos in the ninth possibly adjusting Munoz and Santos, but I think at, right from the jump, I think Santos is more of a closer role while Munoz still is kind of working towards that. And I think he has a little bit more to improve on. Well, I think Brash is also used to kind of like those middle innings kind of come in when we really, really need him, maybe bases loaded situation or whatever it may be. I think Brash is really perfect for the seventh inning role. While I do think Munoz or Santos can battle it out for that eight, nine reliever type position. But I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous that we have this many flamethrowers going in in the seventh inning we're talking about. Santos has an average fastball of 99 miles an hour, while Brash has an average fastball of 98, and Munoz has an average fastball of 99. I mean, these are just like all guys you'd rather want to have in your closing role, be the flamethrower out in the ninth inning. But you have these guys talking about being in the seventh inning, eighth inning roles. Like how, how as a team do you confidently go up there and be like, you know, we're down by two runs. We got this when these three are going to come out and pitch three straight innings. Shout out to Mariners paying love for these images I'm about to put on the screen where you can see the players baseball savant next to their profile. And I mean, just look at all the greats in terms of Brash, Santos, Moon. Like, I mean, it, these are just crazy numbers. And let's not forget that these guys are super young. You know, you're talking Munoz and Brash are 25 as well as Santos is only 24. So they're also extremely young and we have them under club control for a long time. So I absolutely love this trio and I really do think they have crazy potential to be the best bullpen in baseball this season. But I think think there's also one more person you could throw into this mix that is kind of being overlooked by a lot of Mariner fans because we almost forget that we got him this offseason. And that player to me would be Carlos Vargas, who we acquired in the Geno trade with the Diamondbacks. He is also extremely young. He's only 24 years old. Now, mind you, he is one of those more unproven guys. He really has, doesn't have that much experience at the major league level. And during his time there, he really hasn't put up great numbers. He had like a 5.92 ERA during his time in the majors last year, which is obviously not very good. One thing that he's not very good at is his control. He's very wild as of right now in his career, which is expected for a guy throwing that hard at such a young age and obviously not having the right coaches to develop him the right way. But he has a seven walk per nine last season in AAA, which is obviously just not what we're looking for. But I think if anyone can fix him, it's going to be the Mariners pitching staff. And you obviously know how hard the other three throw. Now, just imagine this guy's also only 24. He has an average sinker speed of 98.8 miles per hour, where he tops at 100.7. And his average fastball is 99.4, where he has topped it at 101.3. So, I mean, adding him to this trio can only make them that much better. And if they can develop him, him the right way. And to me, this gives you a little bit more flexibility because now, you know, Brash can go longer innings. He was a starter at some point in his career. So now, you know, you can get some middle innings out of Brash if you really need him talking about like five, six, seven innings. And now you can kind of play around with the other three in Munoz, Santos, and Vargas. And as we know, Jerry's been loading up in the minors with arms. So you never know who's going to come up. And also the guys we obviously already have in our bullpen, like Saucedo and Gabe Spire, guys from the left side as well. So having these four flamethrowers at the back of your bullpen really allows you to plug and play where you need guys like Spire and Saucedo. But I mean, we're used to seeing flamethrowers coming in the ninth, you know, the hardest guy don't coming out, throwing 102. But right now the Mariners have four guys that can go out and hit 100 on their fastball, which is just a crazy number to even say out loud. And you know, we could even have a bad start. Let's say Logan Gilbert or someone only goes five innings one game. And all of a sudden, you know, you have Matt Brash coming out of the bullpen who has the nastiest slider in the league, as well as hits 100 for 
two innings straight. So to me, the way that we've complemented our starting pitching with our back end is just going to be crazy for us this year. And honestly, we might not need to put up as many runs as we think because our pitching staff is so dominant. But please, let's not deal with the classic Felix era where, you know, we have this great starting pitching staff and we only put up one or two runs a game when they really show out. Because as much as we have a great pitching staff and as much as you want to sit back and rely on them when you really need them, we don't want to be relying on them as much as we did last year. But it's truly awesome to me that Jerry is still continuing to find these guys and the guys that we gave up for Gregory Santos was an absolute steal in terms of the Mariners, but it also helps out the White Sox because obviously they're looking for prospects for some of their guys based on how bad they did last year. So kind of adding Santos to the back end of our bullpen is almost a relief in a way. Because to me, again, the best one-three punch that we can do is Brash in the seventh, Munoz in the eighth, and then Santos in to close it out for the ninth. And like I said, that can obviously fluctuate based on certain matchups and whatever it may be, but I do think that that's the best one-two-three punch you can get. I mean, the fact that they just added Santos and now they're arguably the best one-two-three punch in the entire league and the season hasn't even started yet is just fascinating to me. But I really hope they go out and show that they're just that dominant, that they just can't be stopped when it comes to those last three innings in a game. So let me know down in the comments if you think the Mariners do have the best bullpen in baseball now. Because like I said, in terms of projections, they do have the best trio in the entire league with only the Braves coming up to a close second. But I'm extremely excited to see what we get out of this team and I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.